not all parts of building guitars is sexy. A lot of it is sanding and sanding, also sanding and sanding. So in an effort to appear, um, shall we say, authentic, there's going to be a lot of sanding in this episode. But I'm going to be talking along the way about sanding and other things related to the project. So stick around for sanding. Hey there. So we're going to do the uh, first sanding of this body um, to sort of flatten the surface. This is just a general purpose thing. You can download these, uh, you can buy these anywhere. Um, and they're about the equivalent of about 400 grit. So this is the first, just the first sanding. I'm gonna do this by hand. It gets, takes off quite a bit, so stay away from the edges. I learned this the hard way. And um, then I'm gonna continue with sandpaper after the fact. I'm not using a block for any of this, just, just this. So when I tilt the guitar like this, I can see with the reflection in the light where all the sort of orange peel and whatnot is. So I just go in circles till I can't see the orange peel anymore. It's still there, but it's going to be hidden under the dust created by the sanding. Make sure you don't press too hard. Especially if when you get near the edge, like I'm doing here. You can see if you've covered uh, an area. In this case, I was using uh, gloss paint, but after you've covered it with the sanding, it will no longer be gloss. We've scratched off the surface. So. On a yellow guitar like this, it can be kind of hard to see otherwise. On a black guitar, it's very easy because you leave visible scratches on the surface. Most of this is going to be under the pick guard, but I don't care. I'm still going to try to make it look nice. A lot of edges right here in this spot. So you gotta be careful. Not to go too crazy. You can hear it against the uh, tape there. This guitar will never be completely smooth, but that's okay. I knew that was the case when I started it because I didn't seal it properly. And that's all right. But I want it to be mostly flat so that the little bits of character that it does have, like the, are the imperfections in the body that sort of carried over. I'm okay with that, that's cool. We're good on this side here. We'll give it a little more love on this side. I also have to remind myself that this is not the last pass. This is the first pass. There will be more. However, this one is the most important one in the sense that because it's the lowest grit it will take off the most so if i do have areas that are really bad it has really bad orange peel this is this is the time to take off most of that 
you can't do that with an 800 grit or something like that. When I do go on the edges here, I just take all the pressure off and I just let the weight of my hand and nothing else sand there. Pretty happy where we're, where we're heading with this. I'm gonna give it a little more. There. Yeah, it is. Yep. Now I don't see anything. That's because whatever uh, little pits and scratches are still there. It's filled with dust. And so this is the other side now, by comparison. Sanded. Not sanded. And it's easy to think, oh my god, this is so glossy and nice, and this is so dull and not shiny. Why would I want to do that? Well, as you progress with um, finer and finer grit, uh, and eventually polish, you will end up with something that's even shinier than this. That's why you do it. So, without further ado, let's do some more. I mean, I could, you can always keep going. You can always keep going and make it nicer and flatter and until you've gone too far. And then suddenly it's over. Why do I keep bringing this up? Well, let me show you. After this is done, I take some paper towel. And I give it a quick spray with some Windex. And just get a quick wipe down. You'll see the yellow color returning. But it is still sort of satiny now. Because the surface is all scratched up. It is here. Thanks. All right. So, the reason I keep mentioning, let me just show you what I, what we have now, okay? And of course I didn't sand in here, so you, you can see sort of the sheen difference. All right, back side. Okay. So the reason I keep bringing up the being careful around the edges is because if you look at the black guitar, which I have, I just finished doing the same thing to that one. Um, I was not as careful as I should have been. And you can see that right here. That is a pain in my ass. That is something I'm gonna have to redo. It needs to be repainted, then more poly on there, then everything has to sit and cure and then I can finally send it back down to where this is, the rest of the body. So this mistake just de delayed the whole uh, project by a few days. That sucks. However, no such mistakes were made on this body. So I'll take the victory and continue. Thank you for sticking around this long and watching me sand and talk about sanding. I uh, hope you remember to like the video and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Um, next time, we'll be working on this guitar some more, maybe the other guitar, the other black one. Uh, we're almost done with them. There's uh, assembly, there's some soldering left to do. Um, lots more sanding too, but uh, I'm probably going to spare you that since you sat through this. Anyway, see you next time.